Oh hey there, it's Green47, and welcome to Sly Cooper and Thievius Raccoonus, episode 6, starting mission, pressing X! It had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. Next up, the notorious mugshot, ruthless muscle of the fiendish five. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. A neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. Sly Cooper and Sunset My least favorite one in the game. But who cares, because we're here to play through this game 100%, and that's what I'm going to do with the first level of Rocky Start. So this is just going to have one level because we had that beautiful intro cutscene. And it's a 40 bottle level, so naturally it's a longer level than 30 bottle levels. Hopefully you could have done the math yourself. And he's going to tell us, Oh hey, he's in that giant casino and we got to get in there, but we can't get in there because this is ghost town and we need keys. I don't want to take off, I want the Stevious Raccoonus, you stupid little turtle. Why don't you just shut up and let me do the work and you can stay home and do the algebra. It's not like algebra's ever used in real life anyway. It's a video game, that's the only time you'll ever use algebra. Or if you're a master thief who happens to be a raccoon and you need your best turtle friend to do some algebra for you. But that doesn't happen in my life because I would be Murray the Fat Hippo. Because I am a fat hippo and it is awesome. So let's move on. There's a safe here. Get us some bottles. Yeah, these levels, I mean, none of them are super long. But a couple of them are kind of tedious with getting bottles and this is a dog all the enemies in this episode are going to be dogs and I feel like I had something about a squid that I talked about oh that was like boom squid whack or something like that I'm going to totally keep that up no that's water sly you don't swim remember I, I you shouldn't have jumped in that water you know I was like thinking hey I hope sly's not going to jump in that water but I knew you weren't because you can't swim. But then you did, and I was disappointed. I just, I can't even count the disappoints that I am right now. And that's a mattress. Bouncy! I used to think mattresses were super bouncy because this game was an awful influence on me. Also, dogs can be whacked with canes and they give you money. What? I totally hate you! I totally hate you, little doggy. No, I do not want to start level over. I want to go back to where I was, because I hated the little doggy. That was a dog whack right there. I whacked that dog so successfully that someone offered me $200 to put it on the internet. And I'm like, hey, I'm going to go ahead and do that for free. But the person's like, what about... $400, and I'm like, I don't think people should have to pay to view my dog whacking skills. But I ended up selling it to her for two squids and a hook, and it was all worthwhile because I ended up getting it for free. Oh no, you're a bad guy. You're the whack-a-dog. 
He's a wackadoodle. My mom says that word all the time. Wackadoodle. And it's the funniest word ever, even though it's not. And yes, those are floor lasers. It's not that interesting. I don't see why they needed a cutscene when simple trial and error would have told you that you don't want to touch them. But whatever. And we're just going to keep on trucking it. I've missed so many bottles. I can't even tell you how many bottles I'm missing right now because I'm not sure. When it's flashing, you can walk on it, so it's pretty overpowered. Oh, whoops. Oh, oh no! I had a horseshoe. You're cool. Nice try, bro, but the horseshoe trumps the ball or dog with ball and chain that happens to be tying jail breaks and here's the throwing enemy he throws playing cards as opposed to starfishes or star fruits or this is the one bottle that troubled me so much when I was a kid behind that car it's a pain to try to find there's really no hint that it's there unless you have the whole blueprints but you can't have them at this point in the game so it anticipates that you come back to try to figure it out well I don't roll that way Oh, that was dog whacking skills. Boom! Dog whack! Oh, oh, you're you're a smasher. Oh no, what? But there's a horseshoe right there. Teleport to me, horseshoe teleport. I know you can hear me. I'm screaming loud enough. Boom. Dog whacked. No poker for you. This is family friendly, YouTubes. You can stay there and chew on your bone because I don't care about you. Though I nickname you Boney because you have bone and you are bony. And boom, fence guy. Fence guy kind of scared me when I was a kid. Boom, more fence guys, but there's two fence guys this time. So they're twice the scared me as a kid. Okay, so this is a difficult thing, and I almost missed it, but I didn't. And it's where the actual thing is. So I didn't actually almost miss it, because there's nothing there to almost miss. That, on the other hand, is not an easy thing to get onto. He says as he does it perfectly. Oh, uh, these are smasher plates. Oh no, I don't want to be under there. It's kind of hard to do on a TV with bad quality because I need to find a way. I guess, like if I bought a PS2 as video cable, but I'd have to buy one for every console that I plan on doing an LP on, and that would just get expensive. So here's what I'll do. I'll not do that, and well, I'll get back to you. I see more bottles. Not not bottles the mole, bottles the glass things. Did anyone even get the bottles the mole reference? Oh, what? I missed four? Four? It's over three! I kind of failed that miserably. Let's go back in. So, here we go with my bottle finding skills I told you I missed some bottles I just don't know where they are oh there's one convenient no it's inconvenient yeah that doesn't work at all was there a safe somewhere yep Chug, yes, tell. So you know how I think Chugger Conroy talked about this? Actually, he did. What? A missing one? He, like, was allowed to 
rent this apartment that he is in because you typed in the first three letters of his YouTube name and it came up before Chuck Norris. Chuck Testa passed him up. So I think that we have an issue there. And also I'm missing a single bottle. Don't know where she is. I just know that I want this. No, I almost fell. I almost fall. Oh, what? What was that? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. It's probably- WHAT?! <laughs> this is such a long episode, and I was like... I was talking about how, oh, none of these levels are super long or anything, you know? They're just sometimes tedious when bottle finding, and then I die four times. Die! No! That's not what I was trying to get accomplished. That's closer to what I was trying to get accomplished. Uh, um, over here. And yeah, this is that one that I said super hard to make or to find. Super easy to miss. Well, naturally, that's one that I'm not having the issue of missing. I think I just saw it dancing. But now I can't see it, so... Darn. That's pretty inconvenient. It's not at all beneficial to anything ever. Where could it possibly be? I'm not gonna come back either. That's the quitter's way out. Is it up on this thing? Yes. And naturally, you cannot thief walk up. You have to actually walk. <sighs> I probably could have seen that one. Had I been looking at my computer regularly, which I stopped doing because I was playing so well. And then I stopped playing so well, so I probably will start playing on my computer again. I don't know. All I need to do, really, is beef the brightness. I guess everything else is perfect, but brightness is a cruel mistress. So let's finally finish this level. This LP, I was just upstairs bragging to my parents that this LP is like, oh man, it's working fine. But a little bit of higher mathematics, it's just algebra, Bentley. I was bragging to my parents, oh, this LP is going so well, I think I'm going to record for another hour. An hour longer than I planned. And lo and behold, this happens. I'm still going to keep recording, though, because that's fun. Explosive hat technique. So this is one that I am quite familiar with. You basically lay your hat on the ground, and then it blows up. It's not one I'm going to ever use. I don't have any plans to ever use any of these. In the second and third game, you use thief techniques way more, but you're kind of forced to. But those games are just so completely different from the first. In every possible, imaginable way. You guys will see what I mean if I ever LP the next couple games. Anyway, this was actually the first game I ever attempted to LP. But I was stupid back then, and I tried it with a video camera on the showing the screen. So, I was going to LP that, but it didn't work. So, finally finished this level. Gosh! So, yeah, I'm really glad I'm finally getting around to this game. Let's go ahead and go through here. Use the key, Sly! Good. Glad to get around to this game, finally. I'm finally glad to be done with Paper Mario. It was kind of getting to be annoying. And this is going to be a lot more fun. So, here is the overworld for... What is this? Something Snake Eyes... What? What was that? What? What? What?